What's going on guys? It's us. Welcome back to But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Stanley Parable had to make a decision. What if Why did the door close? I was just going to go out. Responsibility. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. That's a lie, Stanley. Stanley wait. Remember I Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by. Does this guy not need to eat, no drink? The ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. No, no, now no, jump scare. Closer. Jump scare. Here it comes. This isn't this is this isn't gonna be good. Okay, um I'm gonna go outside so he can't. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just uh -huh. a matter of time. Okay, so I guess that's one ending. Let's look around and see. Whoa. That light there, I thought someone was sitting there. Uh, okay, we'll go through here. And then there's... Can I open this? Can't go through there. Uh, 426. Nope, can't go through any of these. Ha, ah, 420! Haha. <laughs> nope. Can't go through there. 417? Nope. 416. 415, nope. This one? Nope. When Stanley oh, came okay. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nah, bruh. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure. Why not? I'm not going to check any of these other doors because I highly doubt there's going to be anything in them. Yeah, we'll just go right past. Here it is. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It is. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? I have a whole place to myself, and look, cold drinks only $1.25. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I found it to be, but we'll, but we'll put it But to on. get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh, no. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he <laughs> wasn't fired years ago. True. So let's get on this thing. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this I'm, time. I mean, it is called the Stanley Parable, after all. Neglecting Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Ooh, this guy's this trying to bring in a, bring a lady in. chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh. That's her, Stanley. Oh. To be the one this to is a mistake. It, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. This was a mistake, guys. This was a mistake. This is a mistake. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. This is going to end badly. All right, now. This is going to end badly. Tell me all about your day. <laughs> 
<laughs> gotcha. Oh, you. come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. You know what, man? I can't even have a lady in real life. The mannequin is creepy. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Pardon me? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. I press it He has a job that demands nothing of him. Mm -hmm. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his I'm existence. scared, guys. First one. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. This is a game is a real downer. Please press 6 to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay, I think I figured out how this is to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Keeping an eye on the mannequin, keeping an eye on the door, because I don't trust either of them. I think I think this is just the the narrator's messing with me because I'm not following what his directions are. As he wandered through oh, this fantasy world, he began good. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? No, I can't get out. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Uh, we're gonna do it because reasons. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. We'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed Pardon a button. Pardon me? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Yeah, got dark really quickly. Uh, we'll try for one more ending. And see what we can come up with. Get off the Just thing. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. 
If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Is there something else we need to try here, which I... When Stanley watch. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I feel like it's something. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I have a feeling that this is something. Ooh, door pushes back, I guess. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, we're gonna stay here for a while, man. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Nah, we're fine. It's cozy in here. How you guys doing? You doing good? You look good. How you guys feeling? You feeling good? You it's feel good. It's that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Not really. It's he actually kind of smart. doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Maybe, As maybe not. Is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Doing sweet F.A.? Is this a saying that I haven't been... Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Yeah. Why? Because it's my Please game. Give me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. It's my game. I can do what I want, bro. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story what that's for us to decide not you man thought to mention it we'll find out together maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path maybe when you go talk about this with your friend maybe. you'll say oh did you get the broom closet ending the broom closet ending was my favorite I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I'm just gonna go up to Rick tomorrow and be like, "Did you see the Broom Closet and dang. Really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Shots fired. Drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> this guy's cutting deep just because I won't get out of the Broom Closet. Well, My I've God. Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. I love this so much. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remember. What is this guy supposed to be? Is this guy not human? Is this guy a computer? Another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. No, we're fine. I'm gonna have a drink of my Sierra Mist, or other non-brand name lemon-lime flavored citrus soda. And my nice Ocean City mug. We're just gonna wait here and uh, wait for death. Oh, okay, I see. It's not gonna let me do anything. Uh, well, I think we can leave it here, guys. We'll just cliffhanger in the broom closet. All right. Uh, if I can just. Yep. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm gonna end the video there. This game is getting really cool, actually, and I can't wait to see whatever endings this has to it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, if you enjoyed this video, you can hit that like button and subscribe. Please tell your friends. I do believe that word of mouth is the most important thing when it comes to promoting YouTube and whatnot. So thank you guys so much. I will see you all in the next video. Please take care of yourselves and each other.